Okay, assalamualaikum uh, dan salam sejahtera. Uh, sejahtera. Okay, uh, so this is our uh, video for the chapter six hydraulic and uh, hydraulic components and accessories for the fit power technology MEM three four one. Okay, so uh, before this we have learned the basics or uh, core components in hydraulic system. So for in this chapter 6 video, uh, we will go through all the other components and its accessories. Okay, so by the end of this video, uh, you should uh, know all the 7 uh, components uh, that can be found in hydraulic power system. Okay, so we start with our reservoir. Okay, reservoir we know that it acts as a storage space for the hydraulic fluid as a container to store the uh, hydraulic oil. Okay, uh, it's simple, it uh, can be found in several ways uh, like this. Okay, but basically if you found the symbol uh, like this, so it means that it is reservoir. Okay, tangki tempat simpan lah. Okay, um, the reservoir is where sludge, water, and metal chips settle, and where intrinsic air picked up by the oil is allowed to escape. Okay, ah, uh, so the other important purpose of this reservoir are also are uh, used to remove heat, excess heat, to separate or remove dead particles, uh, release a strain trap air from fluid, and also it can be used to separate water from oil. Okay. Uh, so the diagram of reservoir uh, is shown in this uh, in this figure. Okay, where it uh, have the drain plug to uh, to allow you to drain uh, completely the oil in the reservoir or tank container okay slide glass yes uh, it has a sep uh, transparent glass to visual check of the fluid level it is the uh, the fluid is enough or not for the system okay and it also has the air breather and filler to allow the tank to breathe and baffle plate to separate the pump inlet from the return line to prevent the same fluid from recirculating within the tank okay uh, details about the buffer plates uh, can be seen here in this diagram uh, there is uh, drawn by Che Amalino, Miss Amalino okay here is buffer plate it separates the uh, liquid that returned from the uh, from our actuator or our hydraulic pipelines uh, and when it separates that it can prevent the return liquid to uh, directly uh, supply in the uh, supply line here to the pump so the buffer plate uh, can be as a separator between uh, two types of oil or fluid here okay and how to determine the the proper reservoir size uh, rule of thumb is the size of the reservoir uh, is three times uh, larger than the pump flow rate so you have to know the value of pump flow rate and then you can multiply it with three and then you will get the size of reservoir okay so that's all for the reservoir uh, this chapter 6 uh, is more on the theoretical knowledge so i think uh, you can read by your own uh, and go details uh, if you have uh, a problem to understand certain things of these components you can uh, google more in the internet or you can ask me in our whatsapp group if i have uh, uh, if i 
can read your question i will uh tell you about what is uh the, the answer of your question okay so i will try to go faster uh, maybe this video will make you become bored and sleepy so uh, it's good for all i try to go uh, to go this video with more faster pace okay so filter and strainer uh, filter and strainer are used to remove the contamination in our uh, hydraulic system okay maybe uh, contamination is caused by the built-in system during component maintenance and assembly okay macam uh, metal chips bits of pipe tubing burst and so on lah. okay uh, contamination also can be caused by the generated within system during operation uh, macam moisture uh, air kan lembab entering gas scale caused by the rust okay karat apa semualah uh, ataupun mungkin datang daripada from the external environment such as fennel racks and tools okay so tugas uh, filter dengan strainer kita tahulah memang untuk tapis lah kan cumanya strainer ni uh, strainer ni yang uh, halus eh yang besar untuk kita uh, to filter a more uh, uh, bigger size ok uh, filter ni untuk yang nipis yang kecil uh, can remove particle size up up to uh, micrometer size ok so uh, basically the strainer will uh, remove the uh, larger particle first and then uh, filter will be used to filter up the smaller uh, particle of contaminations ok so uh, filtering methods can be uh, found in three types uh, one is using the mechanical types uh, absorbent types and adsorbent types ok so awak boleh baca dekat sini lah and then the ok uh, the symbol of the filter uh, you can found in the system maybe it in this form ok Okay, ni, uh, this one is for the heat exchanger Untuk sejuk cooler, water cool, heater Okay, sejuk dan panas So, this one is the symbol for the filter or strainer Okay Okay, if you see here This is the filter or strainer This is the filter or strainer uh, This is the filter or strainer Okay Okay, uh, now we go to the third uh, basic components, which is uh, we call the heat exchanger. Okay, heat exchanger is a device that allows heat from a fluid, a liquid or gas, to pass to a second fluid, another liquid or gas, without the two fluid having to mix together or come into direct contact. Okay, heat exchanger are used in hydraulic system to maintain the operating temperature of the fluid within specified limits. Okay, heat exchanger is the universal device that can that can be used whenever you want to remove or absorb heat. Okay, uh, this is also the main components in the air conditioning and the conditioning system uh, in your hydro uh, radiator system in your car. Uh, because it is very uh, functional uh, when you want to remove or absorb heat okay so this one is the common uh, here the common symbol of the heat exchanger okay in the hydraulic system okay uh, also you can find in this diagram here okay yeah. Okay. Uh, heat exchanger. Uh, this is the two common uh, types of the heat exchanger: air cool radiators, shell and tube heat exchanger. Okay. Air cool radiators consists of a series of small lines passing through a series of metal fin. Fluid flow through the lines. Okay. 
heat from the system fluid passes through the tube to the metal fin and onto the air passing over the fins. Construction and operation is like the radiator in a car. Okay, ni biasa yang awak jumpa lah. Okay, ni juga biasa jumpa dekat uh, condenser unit or what we call the uh, outdoor unit aircon dekat rumah awak tu. Okay, so liquid ataupun minyak ataupun uh, fluid akan lalu dalam hose dalam ni. Pipelines ni. Banyak eh. Dia pusing 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 close loop so it will transfer heat to the tube okay the tube uh, normally is constructed by the copper material or aluminium material so udara kat sini uh, will be dry will be driven by the propeller here or fan kat sini and then uh, air will absorb heat from the copper tube so the fluid in the copper tube will be uh, really cool lah uh, because of the heat is uh, transferred to the air okay that's what we call the air radiator but to get the higher efficiency or to remove more heat uh, we will use the shell and tube heat exchanger okay because um, this is consists of bundle of tube enclosed in a metal shell Cooling or heating water passes through the tubes. Hydraulic fluid pass through the space between the shell and the bundle tube. Okay, let's see. Macam ni, eh? Okay, uh, we have two uh, two separate lines, pipelines. One we call the shell side tube, uh, represented by the purple purple color here, and the tube side fluid here. Okay, so. Uh, which one you want to uh, to remove heat or to absorb heat okay it depends on what you set in the uh, shell tube here okay jadi uh, let's say lah um, sini uh, liquid uh, sejuk sini liquid panas so yang panas ni akan transfer heat ke liquid sejuk so liquid sejuk akan keluar and then maybe it remove heat to the surroundings or whenever they have to uh, remove the heat okay so yang ni lagi uh, power lah lagi tinggi uh, performance dia compared to air radiator but uh, it is more very complicated, uh, complicated so it is expensive okay so uh, we go to the conductor and fittings okay in hydraulic system the fluid flow through a distribution system consisting of conductors and fittings which carry the fluid from reservoir through operating components and back to the reservoir okay primarily hydraulic system used for types of conductor uh, steel pipe steel tubing plastic tubing flexible hoses Okay, so awak faham senang lah kan Conductor ni adalah macam pipe je lah penyambung Dan fitting dah yang awak sekali jumpa lah Fitting ada 90 degree fit, uh, L shape 90 degree tube yang menyambungkan kat 90 darjah And so on Okay, macam pipe-pipe kita dekat rumah lah lebih kurang And then for the hydraulic system uh, We may use these four types Steel pipe, steel tubing, plastic tubing, flexible Hoses. So the uh, the options here, uh, you have to decide which one you want to use depends on the uh, the requirement of your system. Let's say if you want to uh, use the pipe, a uh, steel pipe, so uh, it can stands uh, steel pipe. Which one? Okay, can stands the pressure between zero to hundred bar. So it is very high range of the pressure. Uh, uh, pressure specification lah okay tapi uh, but it is difficult to manipulate and air mean supplies here okay okay so macam tu lah so you have to choose which material you want to use depends on your design purpose design applications okay so ni contoh-contoh lah flexible hose okay yang ni kan ah uh, boleh bend tak apalah so kalau yang tak boleh bend so uh, awak nak bend juga kat area yang nak kena bend macam ni so 
flexible lagi sesuai so it is more on common sense when you have to design the system ok awak boleh baca detail kat sini Ah, uh, and then the seal ok seal uh, in a hydraulic system oil leakage will reduce the efficiency and increase the power losses there are two types of leakage internal leakage and external leakage ok for the internal leakage no oil losses to the system uh, because the fluid will flow back to the reservoir internal leakage mainly caused by tolerance exists between the components ok ni tak ada leaking kat luar kita tak nampak tapi dia masih ada leakage yang dalam ok for the external leakage represent loss of fluid from the system and are mainly because of the improper assembly of pipe, uh, pipe fittings ok disebabkan ni lah uh, we have to use the seals sebab seals ni uh, seals are used in hydraulic system to prevent excessive internal and external leakage and to keep out uh, contamination example or o-ring kadang uh, kalau komen kat luar panggil oil ring ah macam itulah piston cup packing piston ring wiping ring and gasket okey ni semua banyak jumpa dekat engine-engine kereta dan mana-mana yang menggunakan minyak lah okey and um, also we have the accumulators in our system uh, accumulators is a device that stores potential energy by means of gravity mechanical spring or compressed air so accumulator ni sebagai uh, simpanan tenaga uh, potential energy ok uh, kalau contoh dekat uh, pneumatik kita akan compress air so kita akan simpan dalam uh, high pressure tank kan uh, so kita akan boleh pakai lah compress air tu macam tu lah kalau untuk ni kita adalah uh, blader macam ni uh, diaphragm piston macam-macam ni lah so three basic type of accumulator they uh, may becomes in the weight loaded or gravity type by lifting a weight uh, spring loaded type by compressing a spring and gas loaded type by compressing a gas ok so uh, the energy here the energy that starts, uh, starts in the accumulator is a quick secondary source of fluid power ok it is capable of doing useful work as required by the system uh, pernah dengar pernah macam kita tengok uh, kita berhenti kat traffic light bunyi uh, lori bas bunyi macam kan uh, itu sebenarnya salah satu dia buang uh, gas dalam accumulator lah ok so uh, the, the symbol of accumulator can be seen here ok if you look at at this oval shape macam pill, pill shape kan macam ubat kita tu ubat pill tu uh, lebih kurang macam ni lah so the difference is the symbol in the shape here that represent uh, the the types of the accumulators uh, that is used in the system ok so uh, you can read more uh, and try to study more on the types of accumulator there are three types here uh, weight loaded spring loaded and gas loaded Okay. Okay. Uh, so now we go to the intensifier. Intensifier act as a booster to increase the fluid pressure available from the supply source. Commonly used in punch press stamping machine, where the large force is required to punch the workpiece while maintaining a small fluid flow rate, mostly as cost saving measurement. Okay, ni sebagai booster lah kan sebagai penambah uh, penambah pressure ok bentuk-bentuk dia macam ni lah simbol saya tak letak awak boleh tengok lah cari dalam internet so this is our last slide for the chapter 7 eh chapter 7 chapter 6 so basically uh, chapter 6 uh, is all about the uh, other components in the hydraulic system so we 
have learned seven things here from this video one for the reservoir second filter and strainer what is the use of the filter and strainer to filter out the contamination filter used for the uh, small particles small uh, small contamination strainer for the larger particles of the contaminations okay and then we have learned about the heat exchanger heat exchanger to remove or to absorb heat okay conductor and fittings okay used to connect between all the components okay uh, and seal seal is to prevent the leakage either in the internal or external leakage accumulator is an uh, energy storage that is used for the secondary uh, quick energy uh, requirement okay intensifier is the booster pressure booster number pressure okay um dan okay tu je seven semua kan okay so i hope uh, you have learned some things in this video uh, because this video is just more on the theoretical knowledge uh, there is no calculation in this chapter so uh, i hope you can study more by your own uh, by searching the video or by googling the info in the internet but uh, that's all for this video uh, if you have any problems or any question you can ask me in the google whatsapp uh, in the whatsapp group in our group whatsapp okay so thank you assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera